Did Mitsu tell you that, Ichiban? Oh. Mm-hmm. Remember now? Yeah, but I still didn't think the Tojo and Omi would just dissolve at the same time. I know. This is going to send shockwaves through our world, and many will oppose it. Doubtless, someone will try to start a war of succession. But we anticipated that, and built many defenses against it. Defenses? What did you have to do? The six chairman planned every last detail. Otase was involved too. He felt the same sorrow as I did about the future of Yakuza life. When we were finally forced to conclude that this is where it will all end. The problem was how do we end the largest Yakuza group in Japan peacefully? We knew that if we simply broke the news to the officers, there would have been mutiny. To make matters worse, Watase had just been thrown behind bars by way of the 3K plan. And with their leader out of sight and out of mind, one wrong move could have started a coup. Right. But then we had the idea to use the Kamurocho 3K plan in our favor. How'd you do that? We came up with two steps to implement. First, Ensure the 3K plan succeeded. What the hell? To achieve that, we purposely let Arakawa-san leak the Tojo clan intel. And then Aoki drove the Tojo clan out of Kamurocho just as we knew he would. He had no idea, of course, that this was our desired outcome. <laughs> Amusing to think that he still considers it his greatest achievement. In reality, the 3K plan only worked because we allowed it to. Apparently. After that, the sixth chairman made his second request of me. I was to keep playing the role of the greedy traitor, dancing on the Tojo clan's grave. All while bringing the Omi into Kamurocho to take the Tojo clan's place. Arakawa-san's admirable efforts split the Sotenbori Omi horde right down the middle. Which leads us to Sotenbori as you see it now. Half its men stuck in Tokyo, weakened, spread too thin. And 
this was Arakawa-san's goal all along? This exact situation? Yes, and he finished it right on schedule. Watase's day of release is here, and we can make our announcement. This would be nice and sharp for today. I really want to test it out. Any volunteers? <laughs> Damn, seeing these Tojo clan legends fighting is fucking crazy! Yeah, very impressive. These guys are all Omi officers, huh? There are still this many? Even with half of them in Kamurocho? If I didn't know any better, I'd say you sound excited. I'm not excited. We're gonna march this declaration down to Osaka PD. I know, most of you are none too happy about it. So listen up. If you consider yourself real Yakuza, then you have to stop me by force. Good shit. I'm starting to see the big picture, Arakawa-han. Tendo? This kind of brawl? Most of us never lived to see one like it. So if we're gonna make history here, you bet your ass I'm gonna take a stand with the side having the most fun. You twisting the knife on us, Tendo? <laughs> I'd much rather fight with you than against you. I'd say we're still looking pretty outnumbered here. That's the whole reason they called us, man. Finally time to step out of the shadows, huh? Look at us. We're about to have the fight of our lives just to get that point across. With the Yakuza legends at our side. Shit. Let's make it one to remember! Ready? 
Don't get cocky. Eyes on me. Well, get serious. Bidi bidi shigaru. For mercy now. Come on, this. Mm -hmm. Gone. So he's finally back. The dragon of Dojima. Watase? How did you find him? Who, him? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. He's just some extra muscle. Some bodyguard I hired. Couldn't even tell you his name. Leave this part to me. You guys worry about the front line. I'll protect the back. Even if it costs me my life. <laughs> I don't know who you are. You sure know how to make an entrance. Seconds. 
This feast ain't over till it's over! <sighs>
<laughs> well, then you have some very good friends. A rare thing. Arakawa-san. I'm very impressed and so happy you've survived all this, Ichi. Wait, wait, hold on. Does this mean you were hiding the six chairman this whole time? Yes, that's what I've been telling you. Do you see now? Actually, I'm pretty damn confused. Well, when you have more money than you know what to do with, Social connections come naturally. Even unique connections like Sixth Chairman Daigoku. We met under strictly professional circumstances, of course. He came to me for help after the Kamarocho 3K plan got underway. Did you hide Majima-san and Saijima-san, too? Oh, yes. And can I just say, despite their formidable reputations, they were perfect gentlemen each time I spoke with them. I never thought that you, of all people, would end up rescuing them. Life is so random at times. Well, I wouldn't say I rescued them. I just lent them a little muscle, that's all. Of course, then I got lost in the fun of the fight. The fight of a lifetime. You are a Kawa fan, you. Well, you really love him, huh? <laughs> With all my soul. And we're meeting up later today. Call it a date, I guess. Oh. 
Oh, how romantic! You'll have to dish about it later. Sure thing. Clear your schedule. I can talk about him for days. I'm sorry to bail on you, Ichi. I know we made our plans first, but... I've known Chairman Hoshino 40 years now. It'd be impolite to turn him down. I get it, boss. Totally get it. When there's a shot at Peking Duck and Hay on Tower, you take it. It was kind of silly of me to invite you to a meal in the first place. I know that. Heh. <laughs> Kasuga. I'm not a boss anymore. Just a regular old man. I don't give a damn who I eat with. <laughs> Well, is Sotenbori all quiet now with the Omi Alliance dissolved? People don't know how to react. Not the civilians, and certainly not the Yakuza. The former Yakuza. <laughs> But I guess it's only natural when a hundred-year-old institution just disappears. Any Omi guys rioting or anything? No, even...